Hello and welcome to 1970s Strong Channel, where we will endeavor to bring you retro training programs from the greatest strength athletes and powerlifters from the dawn of competitive powerlifting, days when the scientific pursuit of strength in the Western world was in its infancy, and the training programs were a lot more individualized and even, as many would call them today, bro science, but they seem to work despite a much lower use of performance enhancing drugs as today. Patrick Joseph Casey was born in 1936 and grew up in and around Los Angeles, he was unarguably the first powerlifting superstar in that he was the best lifter in the world when powerlifting became an official sport in 1965, complete with rules and championships, Pat was a powerlifting pioneer, a primordial specialist, a man that built a sensational physique using a simple selection of barebone strength exercises, all done using bar bending poundage and marathon training sessions, in order to recover from the intense pounding Pat subjected himself to in the weight room on a near daily basis, he purposefully consumed a massive amount of wholesome food and amplified the food intake by drinking four to six quarts of whole milk each and every day. His physique and feats captivated an entire generation of young lifters, Pat looked incredible and backed it up with world record level lifting. A plausible case could be made that Pat Casey is the greatest bench presser of all time, what is inescapable is that Casey was the first man to shatter the 600-pound bench press barrier, Pat's 1967, 615-pound effort was subjected to stringent judging that required a two-second pause on the chest, no uneven arm extension, no bouncing the bar off the chest, and no butt raising during the lift, Casey had a savage training effort that could be encapsulated as, all day, any day, every day, Pat was legendary for engaging in marathon training sessions, he exemplified the old Nietzsche adage, quote, that which does not kill me makes me stronger, end quote. Pat was equally strong on any type of incline or overhead pressing, he was unable to clean as much as he was capable of pressing, but Pat was not an Olympic lifter, he was a pioneer in the sport of powerlifting, while sitting erect on an exercise bench, he took 405 pounds out of the rack, lowered it to below his chin before rocketing it upward to lockout, Casey was strict seated pressing 405, at a time when the overhead clean and press record was 436 pounds, Olympic presses more closely resembled a barbell incline barbell press than a 90 degree seated press, the type Patrick practiced, Casey could incline press a pair of 220 20 pound dumbbells for 5 reps, he could do a behind the neck press with 380 pounds, these presses were the purest, strictest expression of raw pushing power. On March 25, 1967, Pat shattered the 600 pound bench press barrier with a 615 effort, this was a truly monumental feat, Pat was a Paul Bunyan type character, an Irish behemoth that looked apart, he was gigantic, standing well over 6 foot and weighing 335 pounds, most of it in his immense upper body. Pat Casey didn't finesse the weights, he manhandled them Pat's peak competitive years, coincided with the birth of powerlifting, as a formalized sport he was light years ahead of the rest of the world in the bench press, and for a time was as far ahead of the rest of the world as any man has ever been, comparing with the majestic Bill Kazmaier, in terms of being light years ahead of his rivals in his era, Pat trained hard, Pat trained heavy, and Pat trained often, Pat augmented his marathon lifting sessions with a massive caloric intake, he broke his body down, then rebuilt his shattered body with a massive, infusion of calories, if plotted on a graph, his strength curve and his body weight curve would parallel one another, Pat started his lifting journey at age 14, and by age 18, he had become the youngest man to enter the 400-pound bench press, club the team benched 420 pounds, this at a time when less than a dozen men in the world had crashed the 400-pound bench press barrier, here are Casey's staple exercises that were used throughout his career, despite using a limited number of lifts and special exercises Pat was a marathon trainer, as many strength athletes were in the 40s, 50s and 60s, which carried on into the 70s until Mike Mentzer's high-intensity workouts gained popularity. Clarity. Pat would often spend four to six hours in the gym lifting this high volume approach, necessitated massive calorie intake. Pat was known to consume a bait box full of meatloaf sandwiches smothered in mayonnaise as he trained. He also drank six quarts of whole milk a day as a cost effective way to maintain and build size and strength, something still done today by skinny young kids. Casey Bench pressed 420 pounds at age 18 in front of a gobsmacked Bill Pearl, who recalled, Here I was, the hot dog of the physique world, and this kid could blow me away. Bill Pearl purchased the gym where Pat trained in 1962 and began mentoring Pat. Bill watched in ever-increasing amazement as Casey came into his prime. Pat could generate world record level performance in just about any exercise he turned his full and undivided attention towards. At his peak he was capable of these lifts. Bench press with pause, 630, seated overhead front press, 405, dips, rock bottom reps with 330 for fives, 1RM 380, 
Incline Dumbbell Press, 220s for sets of 5, Incline Barbell Press, 525, Squat, 835, he was first man to squat 800 officially, 3 lift total, 2025, first to shatter the 2000 total mark. As an example of the seemingly illogical way Pat trained in comparison to today's methods, he quotes as one of his memorable result-producing workouts as the following. Pat describes quote in 1964 at a body weight of 300 pounds, I attached a 250 pound dumbbell to my waist and over a 4 hour period performed 200 cumulative repetitions. I started with sets of 5 rep sets, then I did 4 rep sets, then 3s, 2s, and finally I had to do single reps with the 250 pounds until I hit 200 cumulative reps. End quote Can you imagine anyone you know today even attempting this? This is the mindset needed along with elite genetics to achieve superhuman levels of strength with little to no chemical assistance and simple basic equipment. After his strength career ended Pat joined the police force and worked as a cop until he retired. He always trained with weights, preferring to train for health and fitness. As he got older he also maintained a large and lean physique well into older age. Pat Casey was an incredible strength athlete that defied what we think we know today. In terms of training methodology this might go to towards proving that favorable genetic propensity trumps even modern advanced training. Given the fact that today's lifters all take way more anabolics than what was used in the 60s and 70s, using a wider array of substances also. If you enjoyed this brief overview of Pat Casey, please be sure to subscribe and like. There will be many more interesting lifters that will be profiled on this channel out of respect and in an attempt to learn from past greats who succeeded despite often limited resources and equipment. Till next time thanks for watching and have a great day.